What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time dropping in, Tommy Kentner here. Yesterday we put in about 20 hours of driving. It's supposed to be 16. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of fuel stops with the, with the enclosed trailer. But that brings me to the next point. We're picking up a car, so stay tuned. I'm focused I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the feeling that The car feels really solid Sounds good. Um, this, I think, this is the Apexy muffler. It actually rides really good. They uh, have receipts where they put the suspension, Meister suspension from the UK, on the car. I'll go find somewhere to turn around. car is super clean. Gearbox feels good. And I think it might actually have some upgraded turbos or maybe the boost is turned up from the previous owner. It sounds like it already has a twin disc in it. <laughs> And we're at altitude too, so. Guys, and it is a V spec. <laughs> and we, when we get it back to the shop, I'll yeah, show y'all guys how to tell if it's a V spec or not. But in midnight purple, what color? It's got the Xeon headlights. Guys, they actually got this midnight purple. It's actually got a G Series 35 on it. We got this GTR. Watching for the omens. I've been listening to everything you said. It's been running through my head, locked and loaded. I got the feeling that you know. All right, guys, we drove in the car about this is about an hour away, ain't it? Yeah, just about. Yeah, it's done fabulous. Coming up the mountain was awesome. We seen some Subaru people, um, an Avant wagon a Porsche it's just been a cool drive and I'll be showing you all that on the way down we just was kind of scoping it out because we didn't know what it was going to be and they do have like random speed bumps too on the way up so you got to watch out for those get them 
Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, we've driven like an hour away. The car has been solid, nothing crazy. Uh, with the new coilovers and stuff that got installed in 2019, it actually rides pretty good. I think we need to change a little bit of dampening. It's it's smooth, but it does have a little bit of hop to it. But uh, the wheels are really nice. The tires look brand new. Um, so we're gonna go back down the mountain, take you guys with us. But uh, we want to give a big shout out to Rev Hard for hooking us up with this deal too. Um, they really come through and and worked out with us, and uh, and like check out their shop and they got some real cool stuff on line too. So we're gonna wander back down, take y'all for a little ride. quick walk around while we're in Denver still we just got back from a about a two and a half hour extravaganza but guys we're gonna be doing some power coating and probably changing out this probably changing out those <laughs> cut this in half yeah. big single but guys, the car rent ran really, really good. Here's the interior. It's got a Nismo cluster. Nismo gauges. The seats are in mint condition. Usually these are just torn and, and like caved in from actual use. Carpet's mint. The back seats look brand new. I mean, all, but all the seats look brand new. Um, like I said, it's only got 111,000 kilometers on it, so it's like 62,000 miles. But this color, man, it just pops. And I'm gonna take when we get back to Clarksville. I'm gonna buff it too. What do y'all think about these wheels? Guys, just go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we do got some things in the works for the R33 in midnight purple uh i really appreciate you say y'all guys following along i know we've been out for a minute trying to get caught up on work and back order stuff uh, but we're going to be more back into it uh starting with the, the build on this and adrian has a lot of goodies in for his r32 so that'll be on the channel too but what do y'all think guys drop a comment below hit that subscribe button adrian take us out not my job. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.